take a look at it on a lighter note. Here's Senator Clinton last night. This is another tricky subject, but far less tricky than the world divide between East and West. Here's one about Hillary Clinton being media critic last night. In the last several debates, I seem to get the first question all the time. And I don't mind. I, you know, I'll be happy to field them, but I do find it curious. And if anybody saw Saturday Night Live, you know, maybe we should ask Barack if he's comfortable and needs another pillow. I just find it kind of curious that I keep getting the first question on all of these issues. But I'm happy to answer it. You know, I gave you the first question, Nora. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. It, it may be a good point she's making. The first question could be the tougher one, but I noticed last night that it didn't matter who got it first. It never ended. He, Hillary would say something. Barack would say something. Hillary would say something. Barack It never ended. It didn't matter who started. Well, you know, it's interesting. I know that a lot of, of people have commented about that sound out and saying that she... Uh, probably was unfairly critiquing the media or the fact that she gets the first question. I'd be curious to see some data on how women reacted yeah. to that particular soundbite. I think that there is a gender divide um, about how people view that, whether she's being treated unfairly or not. Now, whether she delivered it the right way, whether she, totally. by uh, talking about certain life, I think it is true that the CNN debate was unique in some ways um, that led to that SNL spoof, which is why Hillary Clinton, he did seem to get some of the, she seemed to get some of the tougher questions in that previous debate, not our debate last night, where it was, was much more fair. Uh, but you think Saturday Night Live was tough on CNN because it's another network? <laughs> 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 Just guessing. But I noticed they were very SNL tough. With tough that woman who too. looked, the new woman on the show is the new comedian. She looks very much like Campbell Brown. I thought they, they were really She's going after Washingtonian, that. Washingtonian, by the way, small matter. And her okay. father's a Republican political but I thought we can, It's fun that we can laugh about this, but I think there is an issue here, and it's going to yeah. keep going. And I think that uh, I think the question about the first question, I think, is not important. And the question about the pill is stupid. But I think the question was tough. She has a bigger record to defend, a well, longer well, record. The, the issue about that soundbite, though, is the, the Hillary that showed up was Hillary as victim, as Roger Simon has pointed out, and Hillary perhaps um, wanting some self-pity. That was a different, again, the Hillary anger, Hillary sarcasm. It has been a different Hillary, which has been a weakness that there has not been uh, a clear message coming from her campaign. I think she's got a gripe. In the last several debates, I seem to get the first question all the time. And I don't mind. I, you know, I'll be happy to field them, but I do find it curious. And if anybody saw Saturday Night Live, you know, maybe we should ask Barack if he's comfortable and needs another pillow. I just find it kind of curious that I keep getting the first question on all of these issues. But I'm happy to answer it. All right, as much as the inside D.C. media bashed her for that line, we looked at the numbers, and Clinton's got a point. For the six Democratic debates in 2008, our research found that Clinton got the first question of the night in five debates. She was asked the first question on the first three topics 10 out of 18 times. In last Thursday's debate, Senator Clinton spoke first about twice as often as Obama did. And last night, Clinton got the first question for the first three subjects. Now, Obviously, going second allows you to think out your answer and respond to your opponent. Any lawyer knows you always want to be the one who gets to respond. i said it for weeks now. The inside D.C. media is much tougher on Hillary Clinton. I'm not saying it was intentional last night, but the latest overt example earlier this week when Newsweek's Jonathan Alter and others called for Hillary to drop out of the race before Tuesday's primary.